So I am um, going off to Bali in a couple of hours, um, flying from the airport of Brussels, so Zaventem. Uh, and I'm going to stay for two months. Got my bags already here. Uh, just taking, well, one check in a luggage and a one handbag uh, or one bag uh, as a carry on baggage. There's actually something, first of all, that I want to mention. This is actually the first time in a while uh, that I'm going off for a longer period of time abroad. I've, I mean, I've been traveling in the past for seven years, basically non stop, living the digital nomad lifestyle of. You know, living somewhere tra and, and working there, then traveling onwards, living there, working there, and so on. And it's a great way of, of you know, traveling and um, seeing a lot of great things in life. Uh, but in 2019, so last year, I made the decision to stay in one place. So I uh, lived in Antwerp, so it's a city in Belgium, uh, for one year, which, I mean, it did me so much good. And um, I actually want to talk a little bit about that uh, because this lifestyle, this digital nomad lifestyle, it's a very trendy one. A lot of people want to live it and it's great in a lot of ways, but um, there's also a big downfall to it. And this is, by the way, my personal take, of course, on it, uh, but also my personal observation of many people who keep traveling nonstop uh, for many years and sort of live this lifestyle of a digital nomad, there is a big downfall to it. And uh, I want to talk about that here in this vlog. But first of all, let's go to Bali. Well, let me drink my coffee first. Wacht, wacht, wacht. And we arrived in Bali. Boom! So we're gonna flip our passport for which room? Yep. If. <laughs> the rules are very simple. If this comes up on top, Yelis has this room. If this comes on top, I have that room. Okay, let's flip it. Oh! <laughs> Yelis won. I basically just have a bot extra. Yep. I will still use it <laughs> every day though. But. So here's a little tour of our villa. All right, let's go off to work. Uh, but I wanted to talk in this vlog about the lifestyle of the digital, you know, digital nomad lifestyle. You know, you meet so many people when you travel and it's awesome, right? So many interesting people, it's incredible. Seeing new things and, you know, all that, it's really nice. The downside, however, is that you meet cool people, but each time you're also saying goodbye to them. They move back to their country, you move back to your country or you go to another place, they go to another place. And um, I got quite tired because of, of that actually, of that, of meeting people and saying goodbye each time over and again. Because then when you return, in my case, to Belgium and you're there, it's, it's like, I know no one here. And I mean, obviously I do, but because I never invested in meeting new people in Belgium, I always felt 
this emptiness when I came back in Belgium. And the obvious choice was then, oh yeah, okay, it's just because Belgium is a boring country and there's boring people here, so I should go and travel again. And, and this is, by the way, the problem for a lot of people and a lot of digital nomads that they keep traveling on and on because they think their home country, as a, and I'm not saying for everyone, right? Uh, but the, many do think that their home country, that there's not exciting and fun people, but they never have really given it a chance. And so in 2019, I took a full year also for my study and, you know, multiple reasons that I just rented an apartment for a year and was just a whole year. I took some small vacations, but just for a week or two. Uh, but in general, the majority of the time I was in Belgium. And so I, I took one year to just be in Belgium, put myself in cool places, join a co-working place there, go to social events, uh, you know, go on a wine course, do, just do interesting things where I'm interested in and potentially could meet interesting people with. And from what I experienced, what I thought was the case totally proved itself to be not the case. And what I thought was the case was that in Belgium there's only boring people, and I was so wrong. What I came to realize is that in any part, anywhere in the whole world, and I've been to many parts in the world, you can find incredibly interesting people who are aligned to your thinking and your life style or, or what you're into. I think this is something that a lot of digital nomads or people, you know, living this lifestyle are going through, that there is an emptiness. What I've seen and experienced myself is that this imbalance happens a lot in this lifestyle and that people fill this loneliness up by continuing to travel to new places all the time because then you have, you know, new things going on and then you're not thinking about this feeling of loneliness for, for a bit of time as you're just busy, you know, with a new place and then the same thing happens. You meet new people but then they go again and then you feel this loneliness again or this emptiness and so you move to another place as well. And this is a cycle that I've seen in myself and that I've seen a lot of other people as well. And I'm not saying anything about wanting to travel and see new places. Nothing wrong with that, of course, but it's more if you have this emptiness or loneliness inside you, it could very well be because you need some more stability. And that was really the case for me. And so staying one year in Belgium for most of the time and actually investing some time and energy into meeting new friends and the friendships that I had there and my family uh, connecting more with them did me so much good. I, I feel much more stable because of it. Uh, so 90 or 80% of the time, it's, it's a good thing to have a home base somewhere. And then 20% of the time, and this is now what I'm doing, and being here in Bali, for example, 20% of the time, I still like the lifestyle of traveling and meeting new people. Just want to share that here in this vlog with you. If you have this lifestyle of being a digital nomad, or if you're even like looking to be come or have that lifestyle. It appears very awesome in a lot of ways, and it is really awesome in a lot of ways, but only when there is stability and balance. And I do see that very often that the balance is not there in many people, and it does create unhappiness. Find a home base, stay the majority of the time there, so that could be also 60%. Uh, in, this, in my case, I want it to be more 80%, that's what I feel right now is what I want. And then 20%, you could still travel and live your digital nomad lifestyle, right? But having a stable home base, building friendships that you can regularly see again is so important, short term and long term, super important. And I just want to give that uh, piece of advice here with you all. That's, yeah, the message that I wanted to put into this vlog. And besides that, enjoy the rest of this vlog here. No idea actually what else I'm going to put into it, but Hopefully it will be some fun stuff. I think uh I like mini hands. <laughs> 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 <laughs>